Just finished getting ready. I'm eating my red ginseng jelly, which tastes really bad and bitter, but it's good for you, so eating it. Um, so today's guest at Get Real is Tablo. What? I'm so excited. Even though he has hosted his own podcast on Dive Studios before, I've never gotten the chance to meet him. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna buy some cookies for him and Haru and his wife because I'm a big fan, especially of Haru. She was so cute on Supermeni Dorawata. Um, so yeah, time to stop by We Bake Love, get some cookies, and head on over to Dive Studios. Okay, let's go. darker hair because I was just kind of sick of the highlights and I felt that it looked really messy because my roots grew out and it was getting very brassy so I decided to go darker I went for like a grayish dark brownish color but as of now it just looks really dark almost black but in the sunlight it's more brown and it's definitely gonna fade and then the highlighted parts are going to be lighter than the rest of my hair so i'll kind of have like the highlights again but anyways i was getting ready for a radio and i received a package it's a very nice black velvet case and inside what do we have what do we have Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that looks. Wow, this is amazing. I received this from Rose Forever, which is based in New York, and they specialize in these handcrafted Eternity Roses arrangements. They're meant to last at least a year, and this is possible because they preserve it with natural oils, which is really rad. I don't know why I said that, which is really cool. I think this would be a perfect gift for a special occasion, whether it's Valentine's Day, somebody's birthday, anniversary, Mother's Day, you know? I love flowers. I love receiving flowers, but sometimes when you don't dry them right, it just sucks having to throw those beautiful flowers out. And the fact that this lasts more than a year, it's crazy. Uh, so if you guys are interested, I'll leave a $20 off code on the screen and the link in the description box so you guys can check it out. And thank you to Rose Forever for sending me this beautiful arrangement. Wow. That's crazy. And this is also the largest size. Hey, so I am getting ready to meet Joan today. We're going to film another wine spill video for both of our channels because it's going to be our 30th birthday very soon. So we're going to celebrate by doing another Q&A session regarding 
adulting, turning 30, looking back on our 20s. And I don't know, I'm kind of feeling anxious about it because I hardly remember my 20s. Like I remember which events took place and stuff because I have pictures, but I'm not really sure how I felt back then. I think life was just too busy and hectic for me to slow down and stop and reflect on my thoughts. It was just go, 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 go. And then once I had time to stop, it was like I didn't want to think about anything. I'm gonna meet Joan at a brunch cafe called Bobby and then we're gonna eat and then go to her house and film the wine spill video. Also, I got new PJs for the fall. No, we skipped fall. For the winter, I got Sojung a pair of PJs for her housewarming gift and we're matching. <laughs> I saw these PJs and I thought they would look good on Sojung but I also love the color because it's like dark green and pink. And I was like, I kind of want this for myself. So we're now matching with our PJs. Okay, I gotta change and get going now. See you later. outside Ooh, really like this area Joan made reservations for us just waiting for Joan now oh I love the lighting here Pink again. Dude, you're always black pink in How? your area. I don't know why I always wear pink when I see you. I never wear pink. You what know? the heck? No. Those two are the only pink things I have. And it just happens to be on the day I see you. Okay. Both the hamburger and the smashed abo. Tamagasunida. We're at Joan's house now and we're gonna start filming the wine spill video. So please look forward to the video on my channel and Joan's channel. This little, <laughs> I don't know what, what you call it. Just, you know, little munchies. Yes. All right, we're done filming the wine spill and I'm on my way to radio now. I have sobered up, don't worry. I'm not going to radio drunk. Yeah, we're fine. Not you though. I'm fine. Really? Yeah, I'm fine. You don't seem fine. No, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, peace <laughs> out guys. Why is it so, I hate <laughs> this lighting. This lighting sucks. For now, bye bye. I'll see you Sunday. Yes, I'll see you Sunday. Okay. Bye. Okay, so after I ate brunch with Joan yesterday, I was walking down the stairs and I kind of slipped and fell and in that process my ankle was sort of twisted and I thought I was fine but then at yesterday night it started hurting like when I flex my ankle it hurts and when I like rotate it it hurts so I was like shit 
maybe I need to get it checked out. So I canceled my PT for today and came to the hospital to get it checked out. I don't think it's anything serious. I just want to treat it before it gets worse. <sighs> and I look like a Squid Game character today with this green tracksuit. planning on eating that much hey guys I'm on my way to the gym right now probably just gonna Go into ellipticals for a little bit and then do maybe like tricep and shoulder workouts. So, yeah. And then I brought my bag because I'm gonna go grocery shopping afterwards. Let's go! have here one of my favorite comfort foods. Ganjang kerambap. It's one of my favorite things to eat. It's so easy. It reminds me of childhood. It reminds me of my mom. Um, so I find myself craving this very often. And when you eat this, you don't even need that many side dishes. Like all you need is kimchi. That's it. So I love how simple and easy this meal is. Terima Mm. Mm. Mama, so good. You can never go wrong with this. I mean, eggs and avocado, you can never go wrong with that. And on top of that, sesame oil, soy sauce, and sesame seed. I mean, need I say more? This is soul food.
Hey guys, you might have noticed, or maybe not, that I kind of switched up my room. I was just home and something told me to switch up my room. So I like carried, I pushed, I set up everything by myself and boy, it was tough, but it was fun while doing it. I just don't understand why I was compelled to all of a sudden switch things up around when I've been living like this for the past one year and 10 months. And I only have like five more months at this house. But whatever, I like this layout much better. I put one of my chair here with some magazines and this plant. And I got this new little shelf thing and this beautiful dress that I got from over the sea and it's hanging here for now kind of looks like a wedding dress but that's what this little corner looks like for now and I also hung my fabric poster here too and I put my mirror right here oh I also have to show you this upgrade I got it changed my life let me show you Got a smart trash can. It's just tissue, but let me just censor it. it. Automatically opens, and also when you need to clean it out, this is so cool. Can you hold on to this? And it's gonna seal it with like a laser by itself. Let's see. You just take it out. Amazing. And then it's gonna go down. It's gonna get a little loud. And then you have a fresh new bag. Oh my god. How amazing is that? I'm so glad I upgraded to the smart trash can and I was not aware how much joy it would bring me but it's definitely worth it. It wasn't even that expensive. I got it on Onereji for like 70 something thousand won which is not bad at all. It's life changing. Yes, this is peak adulting. You know you're adulting when you get excited by a smart trash can. Alright, just wanted to show you guys that. I swear I had something else to show you guys, but I can't remember right now. On my way, out of sight, out of mind, on my way.